Hello everyone, I'm really excited to bring you this video and I know I've said that a few times but this time I'm especially excited. We have a new update um, and that is version 1.0.3.1. It's a mouthful, it's just it's the latest version. Right? So if you see here on the about page that's the number. So uh, to get the latest update you click check for updates right here in the help menu. Um, and uh, it'll automatically check and download the update and if for whatever reason you find it you get an error when downloading it just try it again a few times the server just might be busy and it might be timing out so uh, just uh, get the latest update because without it you're not going to be able to do what I'm about to show you now um, what I want you to introduce, introduce is this new feature called the texture transfer brush and what this allows you to do is it allows you to transfer uh, textures from two identical objects with different UV mappings and or material map layouts. So uh, what does that mean? Okay, these two objects are, uh, they have the same number of vertices and the same polygon, the same polygon structure. Uh, there's also a body down here um, that I, I hid away because I just want to focus on the face for now. Um, but anyway, let's take a look here. And using the resolution visualizer, which is in here, I have a hotkey bound to it. Um, you can see that the UV mapping is different. It's very different. Here is this, the original UV mapping, which was, you know, made in the conventional way where it's uh, stretched out and the seams are kind of hidden off to the side and the back, um, making it really nice to paint in someone like Photoshop. And over here we have uh, what happens to be an auto UV mapped uh, um, mapping, uh, which you can do in the uh, Utility Tools uh, Paints uh, Setup Wizard. Um, but this could be any alternative UV mapping right, uh, to this. Or it could even be the same UV mapping. You just might have different textures you want to transfer over here. Um, it doesn't really matter, but it's, uh, it's most interesting when the uh, UV mapping is actually different. Now normally if you say, uh, alright, I ha now I have two different UV mappings, and especially one like this. Now if you have your original texture maps, and uh, where's the one for the face? Uh, uh, let me see, da, 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 da. take a look, which one is it? There we go. Now trying to, in a 2D application, try to take something to, like this, that's actually not it, that's the lower, red. that's an older version. Uh, that's the one, here we go. This is, this is that texture on the face front. Um, now if you wanted to transfer this uh, texture, onto a UV mapping like this, it'd be impossible to do in 2D. Uh, <laughs> so, but, uh, and if this UV mapping was similar to this but different, it could take some nostalgia. I mean, you can kind of line it up. But right now we're going to show you in a single brush stroke how to transfer those textures from here to here. All right, and so, uh, and again, I'm going to point out the fact that there's multiple textures over here. There's, uh, um, this is one texture on the face. There's another one on the back of the head and neck. There's a different one in the eyeballs. There's at least three textures going on that you can see right here. And likewise, on this model here, there's three textures uh, which are different than over here. Like they're not, it's not the exact same uh, layout. And so uh, we have a texture, I believe it's uh, A, B, and C or something like that. I, I can't remember the name in convention. Um, but in any case, here we go. We have color map uh, A, B, and C. A is the green, okay? So, one brush stroke, we're going to transfer these textures over to there. So let's, again, let's find this texture transfer brush. I'm going to set the hidden surface removal to none, so that, uh, so when I paint, it just goes straight through the model from one side to the other, and uh, fills all that in. And this brush is intelligent enough to know, it knows there's two objects in the scene, and they're both sort of uh, identical versions of each other with different mapping. <laughs> so when I paint on this one, it's going to grab the textures from this. And likewise, if I painted on this, it would grab the textures from that. So anyway, let me do half the face here and show you what's happening. Here we go. And wait a little moment. And voila, look at that. Now this just transferred all these complex textures from this side to that side. Now let's zoom in and take a look at the resolution to see how, that, how it fares. Look at all this subtle detail which has been preserved. Like it's uh, essentially, it's, it's only limited by the resolution of the map itself. And since this map is 4,000 by 4,000, these pixels are really small, right? And the auto UV mapping, it's really flat, so there's no distortion. Um, so 
that transfer was pretty much as good as it gets. And uh, <coughs> and let's take a look um, again around. You have a, a map barriers here between uh, map A and map B. I think over here is a. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly where. It, okay, I think this is map B and this is map A. All right, and if we look, let's zoom in. All right, and let's take a look here. And you can see you can't even notice unless you zoom in really close. In you might be able to find the seam in there somewhere, but uh, it's 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 a pretty much as good as a transfer as you can get for a single brush stroke. I'm really excited about this. If you, in case you haven't figured that out, and so uh, let me also show you something else here. Now I showed you transferring from this uh, from this model to this model. Now I'm going to undo that, and now without doing anything, okay, I'm just going to take the same brush. I'm just going to paint on this one. That's all I'm going to do. Let's take a look here and see what happens. Look at that. It transferred these colors over to here. Now, see this bit? It didn't transfer because that's a different layer because I have two layers going on here. I see there's a background layer and so on and so forth. But uh, since this is my current layer, I painted that green and the, and, and the red and the blue from this layer over to this layer. So let's just get away from the face and show that again. Here we go. Look at that. So it does. It just knows that these two models are identical versions of each other. And if you paint on this one, it grabs a texture from here. If you paint on this one, it grabs a texture from there. It doesn't get much easier than that. Now, the, the, um, I don't mean to say that it's going to be so simple. You have to kind of know what you're doing. You have to set up these initial models properly. You have to kind of understand what UV mapping is and have, make sure that this is all set up in such a way that you don't have uh, UVs overlapping each other and so on and so forth. But once you have this model set up with the texture maps and the UV mapping the way you like it, and you have this one set up the way you like it, you can just transfer those textures back and forth. And uh, so just use it however your workflow demands. Right? So you, uh, again, so as one case might be, you might decide that, uh, you know what, I, I'm not exactly sure what my final uh, UV mapping is. I have to do something where I have to go and lay out the UV maps because I want to be able to f edit in Photoshop later or something like that. I don't want to have these seams for whatever reason. It's just the, the renderer I'm going to do it. Uh, um, render this in just prefers this. So, But I want to start painting the textures right now and I haven't decided how this UV mapping is going to be. Maybe I want to try different UV mappings and just see how well it goes. So anyway, you can do an auto UV mapping and paint on this, right? And you can paint on this where all these little pixels are nice and flat and square and uh, <laughs> and uh, uniform across the whole model. So you even look inside the ear here. Even all these little nooks and crannies, you can just paint and those textures will just look fine. Right? And then once you have this, right, you paint it just the way you like it. And in your um, UV mapping solution, whatever that might be, you might have finally decided, OK, I found a really good UV mapping. It suits all my needs. Now I want to transfer the texture from here to here. You can then do it in one stroke. And what happens is you might do it one stroke and you might say, oh, I did something really funny up on the top of the head here and the UV mapping is all stretched. So it's not like, so then all you have to do is go back to your UV mapping solution, tweak that UV map, bring it back in here, do it again and say, oh wow, now it's working well. Like, and so you're not having to repaint your textures because your textures were painted on this model and then you transfer them over there. Anyway, that's just one scenario. There's an infinite number of scenarios we can find these useful. Another scenario is um, that you might have identical models um, as far as even the, the UV mapping, but you have a texture over on this one and you just want the texture under this one. You want part of the texture on this one. You just want to kind of grab this sort of face region, all right? And then you just want it over on this one over here and uh, and that's all you want. You want to keep everything the rest. So you might just, whoops, that's the wrong brush. I'm sorry for that. Here we go. So just pretend for a moment that this the same UV mapping, the same sort of layout. You just want the textures from here to over here. Then you can just do something like this and you can grab that little region of the texture map. Um, so again, they can have the same UV mapping. They can have different UV mapping. They're going to have uh, <coughs> multiple texture maps. You might have this whole object might have a single texture map and a single UV mapping. And you might want to take this complex sort of multi-map, multi-map air region areas, whatever you call it, uh, from here and put it over there.
the, the, the combinations are infinite and boundless. So uh, that is why I'm so excited about this feature. So I would love to hear all your feedback uh, uh, on this new feature. Uh, you can send me an email, you can post in the forum. Um, I'm really looking forward to developing this further. But quite frankly, it's I, I'm liking the way it is right now, where there really isn't many options. It just works the way it's supposed to work. Uh, but of course, at some point, we might find it might be a little a little extra parameter or button that might help you with some specific cases. So, speak up, speak up, use the the feature, give it a give it a whirl. If you find it's lacking anything, let me know. I'll I'll uh, I'll make some changes. I'll put them in the next update. Just let the software constantly evolve based on your feedback. So anyway, I've talked long enough. I'm really excited. Remember, get the latest version. It's the Texture Transfer Brush. And uh, as usual, just in case you don't know, sometimes there's confusion. These updates, if it's always free, if it's the same major number, see version 1 point whatever, if whatever passes here, it doesn't matter if you purchase version 1, you get all those updates for free. There's no charge for sub updates. You're always updated with the latest and greatest. So uh, yeah, um, if you're using the software, check for the updates. And if you're, um, you can just download the demo. If you're not using the software currently, you can test all this out. The only thing is you can't export and save your project, but you can test out this little workflow and make sure it works. Uh, and uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please, again, your feedback is much appreciated. I hope you enjoy this uh, new feature, and I'll see you in the next video.